Y aquí el por qué los hombres están evitando a las mujeres modernas, especialmente las carruseleras y especialmente las posmuro. Que va de la mano, o sea, carruselera, posmuro, es lo mismo, güey. ¿Te acuerdas que el British guy está dating a alguien? Sí. Definitivamente pienso que estaré solo stay alone forever. Sí. My God. What to say? I don't know. I I don't know. What's the problem? I <laughs> It's me or I sí. uh, I'm brilliant. I work a lot. Oh. I stay in shape even if I'm 40 years old. <risa> Creen que eso es suficiente Les he dicho muchas veces Hoy en día No es suficiente eso Puedes estar en shape Puedes estar muy buena Puedes ser la más hermosa Pero a los 40 años No hay razón Para que aún estés En el mercado de las citas No tienes por qué hacerlo Ya Eso ya se acabó Eso ya pasó I... I scare men, something like that. I don't understand. Maybe I should just be less clever or less beautiful, something like that, to be able to have a boyfriend. Oh my God. And um, I've been crying all day because I got sad. I just, I like, I've been a single my whole life. I'm, it's just too much. Like, it's too much. I can't do it anymore. I still soltera. Toda su vida. Ugh, por favor. <ríe> por favor. Completamente una mentira. ¿Ok? Claro que ha salido con alguien. Ah, es el que nunca ha cogido. ¿Qué? There are some people out there who they don't, they're not interested in a relationship and they want to be by themselves. But like, that's not me. And that's never been me. I have always wanted to be in a relationship even though I've never been in one. At a certain point, it gets like really sad doing things alone. Like, everyone I know is in a relationship right now. I feel like I've always been alone and I don't want to be and I don't understand why this is happening to me. What kind of world do we live in? Where a normal, regular girl cannot find just a regular guy out here to date. Because these guys don't want a real woman. They want a family. Hey, I would like a husband, please. Any husband? Oh, no, no. I, I, I would like him to have certain qualities. Um, I want him to be attractive, you know, but not cocky. Um, smart, but not academic or anything like that. Ambitious, but not too much of a workaholic. Oh, my He's God. He's loyal, but, but I don't want him to be boring. He's dependable, but he also likes adventure. He loves to travel. He's charming. He's funny. He, he preferably speaks three languages and is super cultured. And, I mean, I think that's about it. ¿Qué más quieres, güey? <risa> Esa es la realidad con muchas mujeres, ¿eh? Quieren todo. ¿A cambio de qué? A cambio de esto que podemos conseguir en cualquier lado, incluso más barato. Right. And what are you bringing to the table? Hmm? I'm sorry, me? I, I don't understand. What qualities are you offering him? Well, I mean, this isn't about me. I mean, this is, this is about you giving me what I want. It is not required of me to make your plate, right? Like, I am not your mom. I'm not required to clean up after you. I'm not required to cook for you. I'm not required to do anything for you, mm -hmm. right? Because you did not come out of me. I'm not your mom. This is why women are single. They don't want to please a man. They want to please themselves. <laughs> And when you please yourself, you end up what? Lonely. Now we will dive deep on those videos so we can have a better understand of today's content. Do you remember the British guy is dating someone? Uh... Yes. I definitely think that I will stay alone forever. My God. What to say? I don't know. I, I don't know. What's the problem? I... <laughs> It's me or I, I don't know. I just meet people that are not interested in me and discovering me by uh, in, in deep, you know. And it's boring. I, it's exhausting to try to find a good connection with someone, you know.
claro que es aburrido, es cansado, es tedioso. ¿Por qué? Porque ellas saben que a esa edad no tienen por qué estar haciendo eso ya. A la edad de 40 años, las mujeres ya no tienen por qué estar saliendo, intentando y buscando hombres. No lo van a conseguir. Y si lo consiguen, va a ser un hombre de muy bajo valor por el cual nunca van a tener respeto. Y esa es la realidad, les guste o no. Y piensas que es una buena conexión, pero no es And uh, I'm brilliant. I work a lot. No nos importa. I stay in shape, even if I'm 40 years old. And uh, I stay in shape. Y de acá cómo andas, mija? Sí, pues, tetas y nalgas las podemos ver en cualquier lado, ¿no? Pero acá responsabilidad afectiva, <ríe> inteligencia emocional. ¿Eso dónde está? Um, I'm kind, I'm caring, I'm, I'm a lovely person, really, really. But it's like I, I, I scare men, something like that. I don't understand. Maybe... No, tú no. Tú no los espantas. Tu edad los espanta. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué hay detrás de esos 40 años, güey? I should just be less clever or less beautiful, something like that, to be able to have a boyfriend. I don't get it. Please help me. What should I do? I really don't understand. Aquí cuando dicen, por favor, ayúdenme, ahí es precisamente donde todos los hombres deben entender. No tienes por qué salvarla, ¿ok? Nos referimos a esto. No tienes por qué hacerlo. Él nunca lo ha hecho. ¿Por qué tienes que hacerlo tú? You know, between my 20s and my 30s, I spent nine years with someone. We were really in love, but we... We grow together, so you know your goals in life change. And I, and I um, broke up with him. I changed my a town, and I started everything from scratch. And now I'm starting again everything from scratch. But it's so hard to find a quality man and to find someone who can be aligned with my goals in life and aligned with my needs. I'm, no me gustan porque son mis amigos pues por supuesto güey nunca te van a gustar a los beta que mandas a la friend zone, por supuesto que no. It's like he disappear because he knows that he I'm interested in I don't know. I don't know what to do. This is horrible dating in 2022. It's horrible. So, if you have some piece of advice, I'll take it. Let's read some comments of this video. <laughs> Two minutes in. I get, I friendzone all the decent guys, mm -hmm. I dump my long-term boyfriend because I was bored and Chad doesn't want to date me. Did I get that right? To me, the most obvious blunder is when she said she's looking for a man to align himself with her goals. Say goodbye to Sigma and Alpha males. She's 40 and single because she's too awesome. It's amazing <laughs> to see she's learned nothing. As a 40-year-old single and childless man, I would avoid someone like her. One thing I ask in dating is about past relationships, and it's mostly to see if the woman takes any accountability for their past failures. Mm. I've dated one woman in the last three years who took accountability. The rest solely blamed their exes. The lack of accountability is a huge red flag. The way she insulted men by saying she should be less clever is all we need to know. No self-awareness, no introspection, unreal. <laughs> it is never them, it is always someone else's fault. She's perfect. <clears throat> I've been with my husband for over 20 years. Periodic boredom is part of the long-term relationship package. She sounds very immature and self-centered. You got it right, she needs therapy and some humility. It's possible she calls them boys due to English being her second language. 
She told everything we needed to know about her when she talked about her male friends. Her standards are sky high for a 40 years old woman whose SMV is extremely diminished at this point. Lo que más me da risa es que cómo la destrozan los comentarios, güey. Imagínate. Subir un video así y te expones a esto, güey. Porque ella está buscando ayuda. Pero... <risa> raza es bien culera, güey. Odds are that she still thinks she's the hot 20 years old version of herself that she was 20 years ago. To all my kings that struggle with finding the right one, stay true. Work on yourself. Work on your money. Work on your stability. Remember, the fish everyone throws back can eventually become the big catch they all want. 40 plus dating is the man's time. She missed her chance by not making those nine years in her prime work out. She's made for that person at this point, not anyone else. Now let's go to my view of this clip. I hope we had more women doing self-reflection. It would help them a lot in dating scene. If you are 40 but still was not able to build a family, in my opinion you have to do a self-reflection because you could be the reason you can't keep a man. <laughs> Nobody is perfect, therefore, There is a possibility that she is the one that is preventing herself from staying in a relationship. Lots of people just don't know what relationship is about. Lots of women believe that relationship is about feeling good and excited all the time. Yep. But this is not what it is. She should have stayed with the guy she had long-term relationship with. Dating scene is not good after a certain age. Sorry for disturbing your video. I would like to say thanks to all new subscribers. For those of you that liked the video, but did not subscribe yet, please do so. It will give me more motivation to do more videos for our community. And, um, I've been crying all day because I got sat on a plane next to a couple. And the whole time <laughs> the guy had his hand on, like, his girlfriend's leg, you know, and it was just kind of like that the whole time. And, um... I just, I can't, like, I've been single my whole life, I'm 25, and I've What? never gotten to experience that. I've never gotten, like, close to that. <laughs> Imagínate, a los 25 ya están así, eso déjaselo a los 40, pero por eso les digo, el muro está bajando, güey. El muro está bajando, y aquí lo escuchaste por primera vez. It's just too much. Like, it's too much. I can't do it anymore. There are some people out there who, they don't, they're not interested in a relationship and they want to be by themselves. But, like, that's not me. And that's never been me. I have always wanted to be in a relationship, even though I've never been in one. Um, and even though I'm, like, I'm comfortable by myself and I can do things alone. But, like, at a certain point, it gets, like, really sad doing things alone. Like... I've traveled alone to so many places because like if I don't go by myself, I'm not gonna go. If I don't do things by myself, it's not gonna happen. But at the same time, like it's so much fun to be able to like share that with someone else. And like es la mismas tipas de todas esas que hablan de lo mismo. De ah, no necesito hombre. Es, son esas. Okay. Esas tipejas. Eh, no necesito hombres. Yo puedo hacer cosas por mí misma. Es ella. Es una de ellas, dalo por seguro. Que se le nota, güey, o sea, se le nota ahí el pedo. Que quiere hacer cosas sola, que no necesita hombres. Y después, pues ya vamos a decir que ya llegó el muro, güey. Los 25 es el muro oficial. Y se encuentra con que, oh, es que quiero compartir, que quiero que alguien comparta conmigo. Y bueno, y no se da cuenta de sus acciones, de lo que hizo o lo que dijo. Muchos hombres igual no están estúpidos, o sea, saben... Cuando una mujer actúa de cierta forma y dice, bueno, no necesitas hombres, pues bueno, pues no te necesitamos, güey. Like, everyone I know is in a relationship right now. And, like, the majority of them have been in relationships for, like, a long time. Like, this is established. And I just, like, I feel like I've always been alone. And oh my God. I don't want to be. And I don't understand why this is happening to me. 
Um, and I just, I don't know, I like can't take it anymore. Um, and clearly this didn't work because I'm still crying and I just wasted like two minutes of your time and I'm sorry. <laughs> and I hope you're having a better weekend than I am. <laughs> so <laughs> let's check some comments of this video. She wants the excitement of superficial relationships with the outcomes of relationships with substance. She's her own worst enemy. I'll bet money. She's turned down a bunch of decent men. No sympathy here. Dear woman, this is exactly how most men feel at 25. We are invisible Fox. until 27 to 30. We don't cry about it. There's nobody that would care if we did. We just keep going. I'm 25, and I feel so lonely. Holy crap. Just wait until you're 35, lol. <laughs> I've been alone for my whole life. Congratulations. Now you know how the majority of men feel. Yep. Her entire life. She's 25. She's been a single adult for seven years now, Max. There's another 50 years coming at her. I waited tables for 20 years. The happiest couples were people that most would consider unattractive, but genuinely enjoyed each other's company. Remember guys, one, she has been single but never, and I mean never, alone. <laughs> Two, she is not complaining of not having the chance of meeting a nice guy. She is complaining because none of her Chads and Tyrones are nice guys. Yep. Don't let that crocodile tears fool you. I don't understand why this is happening to me. The first thing she needs to understand is that she's not a victim. She has control over who she gives her time, energy, and focus to. I'm comfortable being alone. Spends 10 minutes weeping on camera because she's alone. Female logic, folks. <laughs> There's a lot of single women where I live, and whenever my girl and I go out, they yeah, consistently man. ask me to introduce them to men I know. I have to explain to them that most of my guy friends I have don't want to be in a relationship. They all get upset and realize that they are going to be single for a long time. It is amazing how the tables have turned. Now let's go to my view of this clip. She is only going through all of this because she wants to. I bet that there are many men willing to date and marry her, but she for sure doesn't want them. They don't qualify for her unrealistic standard. This is the problem. They do it to themselves, then will cry about it later. She knows what she can do to get someone decent to love her and build a family with, and she knows that in her friend zone there are many guys ready to date her, but she is looking for those top 20% of men that don't want her. Another important point is relationship skills. Many women want to be a wife without having any wife characteristics. <laughs> if you are not a wife, a husband will not find you. Mm. All wives are found early. Make sure that you become a wife. A husband doesn't find a regular woman and marry her. Instead, a husband finds a wife and marry her. The good question for this lady is, are you a wife? Do you have relationship skills? What kind of world? Bueno, es exactamente lo que hacen los hombres. La mayoría de hombres cuando encuentran una chica joven y igual no tiene que ser tan atractiva, pero normalmente si ven una actitud un comportamiento que dices, bueno, está pasable. No pierden el tiempo. Muchos hombres no son estúpidos. O sea, le ponen un anillo al dedo y la sacan del mercado y se acabó. ¿Okay? Se casan con ella porque saben. ¿Okay? Tú puedes detectar, especialmente hoy en día, tú lo puedes ver. Es muy evidente la actitud de una mujer moderna y la actitud de una chica buena. ¿Okay? Entre comillas. Vamos a llamarlo chica buena, nada más, ni tradicional, ni lo que sea. Pero los hombres saben. Tú ves una chica que se comporta bien, que te valora, que te respeta sobre todo, que es de familia, que no anda de party en party, de relación en relación. Tú, tú lo sabes, tú lo puedes detectar en el comportamiento. Y una mal laudi que empieza a hablar y te empieza a retar y, y o sea, te reta lo que tú haces, te cuestiona y tiene mala actitud. Tú lo sabes, esas mujeres no son para casarte. Okay. Las chicas buenas, pues sí, es igual. Los chicos buenos también, pero esos no les gusta, ¿no? Where a normal, regular girl cannot find 
just a regular guy out here to date. Oh my because god. Because these guys don't want a real woman. <laughs> they want a fantasy. <laughs> they want <laughs> Mira quien habla. to live in this fake fantasy world. They would rather off to some screen, to some robot rather than actually deal with a real human being and what comes with that. You know why? Because it's easier. Sí, and hecho. I am done. Tienes toda la razón. Es más fácil lidiar con un robot con <laughs> mujeres modernas. Tienes toda la razón, niña. I'm done. Let's read the most interesting comments of this video. She is crying about men, but ask her what her standards are. <laughs> it's women like her that I'm on my own, and guess what? I'm happy. Women like her is troubles. See? I work out and have stayed slim trim and agile into my 50s. I was an EMT until I retired at 48 after saving God knows how many lives. Still wasn't good enough for the modern American woman. You always said I was too short, 5 feet 7 inches, were not black enough, were not making 100,000 a year, etc. Finally went to Colombia, married a Latina four years ago, and we've been very happy together since. She seems so pleasant and fun to be around, I don't know why she's single. This is sarcasm for those who don't understand. The guys she's describing, if they dared talk to her, she'd be offended they dared to speak in her presence and call him a creep. These guys means the top 10% of men that she is attracted to and only notices. Well, I'm right here. I ain't scared. All of you women pick the wrong men. It's your own fault. <laughs> a normal girl cannot find a regular guy. Says the modern women who date six foot tall, six figure salary, and six pack abs. Hmm. She would have the number of a guy in her phone who is a good man, who would be a good father who would not cheat or abuse her. And she doesn't want him. And she'll continue to swipe right on the top 4.5% of men. She won't walk away from Chad messaging her at midnight to come over and kick her out when he's done. Same woman who says we all have to be six feet and over. Now let's go to my view of this clip. We all know that she is not talking about the regular guy. Her idea of regular guy is what we already know. He must make six figures, six feet tall, etc. We know that many women are single just because they have this unrealistic expectation and high standard that automatically places most men out of her radar. Hey, I would like a husband, please. Any husband? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I would like him to have certain qualities. Um, I want him to be attractive, you know, but not cocky. Um, smart, but not academic or anything like that. Ambitious, but not too much of a workaholic. He's loyal, but, but I don't want him to be boring. He's dependable, but he also likes adventure. He loves to travel. He's charming. He's funny. He, he preferably speaks three languages and is super cultured. And I mean, I think that's about it. Right. And what are you bringing to the table? <laughs> hmm? I'm sorry, me? I, I don't understand. What qualities are you offering him? Well, I mean, this isn't about me. I mean, this is, this is about you giving me what I want. Well, actually, it is about you because you need to be a reflection of what you want to attract. Okay, blah, 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 whatever. I don't really have time for this. I'm actually in the middle of a Netflix binge. So just <laughs> ring me whenever he gets here. Okay? Right. <laughs> now we are going to read the most interesting comments of this video. It's important when you improve yourself that you are improving the things that your ideal partner wants, not just the things that you want. If I stood here and told you that I had improved myself by learning how to quote the entirety of every episode of Dragon Ball Z from memory, would that make you more attracted to me? I doubt it. But I put so much work into it. And if I raise my standards because I can quote all of Dragon Ball Z, then I'm going to have a difficult time because I'm going to be looking for women who put in a bunch of effort on the things I wanted, but I didn't put in the effort on the things that they wanted. The same goes for women. Okay, amazing point. Love this. And then the problem is women become what they want in a man. But they are becoming the masculine energy of what they want. So they are becoming hyper-independent, strong, educated, ambitious, and driven, and then they find out that they don't need a man. <laughs> 
<laughs> they need to be in their feminine and bring their feminine energy to the table and that's hard to do because we want a list. Tell me what to do and I'll do it is what they're saying. But feminine energy is about being. And women are so uncomfortable with intimacy, and especially intimacy with themselves, not even talking about S, that they stay busy doing and can't just be. So there are a lot of women on here posting that they have become what they want in a man, but that's never going to work because men don't value masculine energy in a woman. They do appreciate that a woman can take care of herself, obviously. And this is why a lot of men date down because they are looking for feminine energy and a lot of women who are CEOs are in their masculine. Women these days are becoming the man they want. But men don't care about those masculine qualities women but i'm a princess i deserve everything i want for free what's wrong with academic is that world going crazy all the beautiful smart and amazing women can't find anyone suitable <laughs> i hear dating coaches talk about this all the time so focusing on my health family friends and career and at some point will attract someone awesome who matches my vibe uh, sí, como no. you pretty much described my husband except the super cultured thing i always said i don't need a man and basically got anything a girl could wish for correction what are you bringing to the table that your dream man wants being what you want in someone else is psychobabble you either are or are not what he wants what does the man you want, want? It really does come down to that. I see many comments of women saying they worked on themselves listing their degrees and going to the gym, etc. We men would K an attractive woman, but we will marry the one with the good personality. Mm -hmm. Work on your personality the most. Trust me, we don't care if you only finished high school, as long as you are a good person, feminine, caring, loving, loyal, and loves us with all her heart. A woman who respects us and doesn't think the entire world revolves around her. Now let's go to my view of this clip. It is sad to see that so many women got it wrong. A woman is not supposed to become the man she wants. I am saying this because based on what she said, a woman is supposed to become a mirror of what she wants. Instead of that, women should be the opposite what a man is so they can be attracted to each other. If they have the same energy, they will always have problem. It is like having two masculine energies. It will never work. Mainly a woman is supposed to work on her femininity. This is one of the main things a woman should bring to the table. That is why we have so many women confused. They keep asking why I am not able to keep a man. Even though I am doing all I was told to do. The problem is that they were told to do the opposite of what they are supposed to do. It is not required of me to make your plate, right? Like, oh, I am not shit. your mom. I'm not required to clean up after you. I'm not required to cook for you. I'm not required to do anything for you, mm -hmm. right? Because you did not come out of me. I'm not your mom. As a man, as a person, as a human being, you should have been taught life skills to be self-sufficient. It's not a requirement for me to take care of you. If I claro que podemos hacer eso. ¿Qué te pasa, bitch? Podemos hacerlo, pero esperamos eso de ustedes. No significa que no podamos hacerlo. Oh I want to do something out of the kindness of my heart. That's on me. If I do not want to do it, I'm not doing it. How about you make my plate? How about I cooked? Why don't you say to me, babe, why don't you go sit down? I'm going to make your plate. How much would you like? They completely skipped over the fact that you just cooked for them. Right. They don't give a fuck. And no. Forget that you cooked. You also have to serve. So Let's check some comments of this video. Oh, my God. This is so I am not required to protect you. I am not required to take out the trash. <laughs> I am not required to kill bugs. I am not required to change a tire. I am not required to pay for dinner. I am not required to provide for you. But I do it because I am a man. See? Sad how society has fallen. Some of these women need to grow up because they will never date a man that wasn't traditional ever. So why should I accept less key word for today is accountability. Y la razón por la cual estas mujeres están hablando de esto y así con ese... Uh, con esa angriness, con esa emoción, con esa rabia es porque nunca han estado en una relación seria. Y nunca han podido hacerlo. Por eso, 
Y la razón también por la cual están así es porque no tienen experiencia. No saben qué hacer con los hombres. Solamente lo único que saben hacer es abrir las patitas, darle en su mano la pantufla con los chats y ya. No hay emoción, no hay interacción, no hay relationship skills, no hay habilidades de relación. No hay nada. Y pues, por eso están solteras, obviamente. O sea, no están solteras solamente porque sí o porque sean bien chingonas. No, están solteras porque no pueden estar con un hombre. O sea, un hombre no las tolera, punto. She is absolutely right. It's not required of me to pay any of your bills, protect you from harm, work on your car, or buy any of the food you're complaining about cooking, absolutely delusional. <laughs> If my man works all day from work and pays the bills, I'm taking care of him. I make sure the meals I cook are good and fill his stomach. Make sure the house is clean because who wants to live in a dirty house? He would do the same if I work all day too. As long he is happy, I am happy. She doesn't know what a wife is. If you want to be single, just say that. <laughs> I bet they're both single. She will make an amazing wife. When I have a son, I am telling him, this is where the cat ladies came from. Perfect. Then the men are not required to provide for you. You should have been raised to be self-sufficient and we should never have to do anything for you. We don't have to protect when you're in danger. We don't have to work when we're tired. We don't have to listen to you when you need us. Ooh. This is a great day. Thanks. <laughs> Men, freedom. The bitterness and hostility from these ladies is palpable. I love cooking and serving my husband and kids. It's so very rewarding and gratifying. Especially since I have a full-time career, it just makes me feel so accomplished. You should feel like, wow, I'm such a baddie, not this bitterness. As long as men accept this type of behavior, it will continue. It's not my requirement to pay your bills. It's not my requirement to protect you. You got arms and legs. Fight that person that's bothering you. You're equal to a man. Correct? So go downstairs and check on the burglar. These women are. Now let's go to my view of this clip. This is the problem we are facing. They are talking this way because they don't have a man. Mm -hmm. Women with a man would never talk this way. Show me a woman talking like them. I will show you a single woman. Only a single woman can talk that way. There is no man that will deal with a woman who has that type of mindset. Además, fíjate la cara, güey. O sea, fíjate cómo se expresan. Fíjate esta, esta cara de, de... De coraje, de... De molestia, de hostilidad. Porque están solas, güey. Nadie las quiere con esa actitud. Fíjate nada más. Es lenguaje corporal, baby. Ahí se ve todo el pedo. Ahí se ve. Sometimes I think that they don't listen to themselves. Later they will complain that they don't have a man. They will complain that men don't want them. <laughs> no happy women in her relationship with a men would talk that way. I hope we don't have younger women listening to this and believing on this joke. This is why women are single. They don't want to please a man. They want to please themselves. And when you please yourself, you end up what? Lonely. You be in the bed at night. Man, I sure wish I had somebody in here to cuddle up. But yeah, that last man said, hey, look, I don't want you to do this. And you said, look, I'm my own woman. I can do what I want to do. <laughs> Now we are going to read the most interesting comments of this video. Wrong. It's not that we want to please ourselves. We want a man that have honesty, love, grace, mercy, protection, peace, and forgiveness. If you can't do none of this, then yes, we rather be alone. Peace is better than the hell you trying to give. Worry about why men are single. Y'all always worried about a single woman that ain't worried about you. Single and happy. One day I may be in a relationship again, but this is a choice I made for myself. Finding myself was more important than continuing to deal with the wrong people wasting my time. <laughs> yes, it can get lonely, but I would rather be lonely than lied to, 
cheated on, and disrespected. Bro, all the comments, so every single one of y'all choice to be single? And half of y'all saying he should respectfully ask, or he's controlling, is making his point. How setting boundaries for our relationship controlling, or demanding? Women are single because they choose to be, not because they can't get a man, a man is easy to get. It's funny how men stayed far behind and still think that a woman should please them and do whatever they say in order for her to have a creature called man around. Rules have changed women provide for themselves to not be forced to put up with billish. Y'all gotta heal work on yourself. See women as the feminine energy they are and show up as the masculine energy. Stop the gaslighting. The scary seniors that are just annoying at this point. A life without a man child is 1000 times better so yes single and less draining not really there's a difference between a man asking for something out of respect and another to be demanding it because he's a control freak if a man wants respect he will say it and if a woman is serious about her man she will most definitely do it but a man trying to control a woman with no real intentions on loving her is what messes with a lot women's heads so because she didn't want to be controlled and treat him like God. I can't please a man I don't respect because he doesn't respect the people around him or myself. He chooses to willingly ignore when I ask him for the smallest amount of care and compassion while as a woman would go through the ends of the earth for him so, no. I would rather respect myself than have a man disrespect me. Been celibate nearly 13 years after years of constantly being a magnet and target for sissists, albeit three in total. Best decision I ever made protecting my peace, my sanity, and personal space. I set boundaries and am now fully in my masculine energy. I call the shots. I control my life and further act on the hidden red flags I couldn't see before. You couldn't pay me to free up my abstinence. The only man who will get this will be the individual who opens me up so much I am relaxed enough to submit to him physically. I'm yet to find anyone with such a connection, but they are out there. There's someone for everyone. Now let's go to my view of this clip. Based on the comments, it is sad to see that many women have a wrong idea of what it means to be in a relationship with a man. If you want to have healthy relationship, it is good to go into with collaboration type of mentality, meaning both of you are there to support each other. The more you give, the more you will get from a man. This is the point most of them are missing. I wish they knew this. Many women in the comment are saying that they prefer to be single, but to please their men. This is just sad. That is why we have so many videos of women crying because they are alone. The video I did yesterday was about many women who are struggling with loneliness. This is the place most of them will end up in a few years. Those probably are the same women that would prefer to be single instead of collaborating with their man. <laughs> Please, tell us what you think in the comment. Sí, esa es la triste realidad. Y cada vez las cosas se ponen peor con estos personajes. Porque ve la wey, o sea... Para tener 40, pues está bien. O sea, está buena. Si te la coges, la neta. Pero los hombres educados pues ya están viendo más allá. Como les he dicho, ya están viendo más allá de una cara bonita. Están viendo más allá de un cuerpo. Porque muchas cuarentonas están bien buenas, güey. Pero buenas. Pero de la personalidad, ¿cómo andamos? ¿Cómo andamos de la persona? ¿Cómo andamos de acá, mi reina? A ver, ¿cómo andamos de acá? Pues, no andamos muy bien, que digamos. Y ese es el problema. Por eso, los hombres los están evitando. ¿Okay? Las mujeres modernas. Porque hay mujeres buenas. Pues sí, sí hay, güey. Pero pues, hay que salir a buscarlas. Hay que ser game. Hay que tener conocimiento de esto. Y aprender a detectar el tipo de comportamientos de estas mujeres modernas. Tú lo puedes palpar inmediatamente. Cómo habla, cómo se mueve, cómo actúa, lenguaje corporal, expresiones, todo. Lo puedes ver, ¿ok? Y si no, pues para eso estamos, para enseñarles.